Welcome back to We the People. In this last segment, what is at the heart of the debate around the minority identity in India? It seems to be an abiding theme, theme more recently in the Indian film industry. Why is that? What do they believe is the central crisis? Before we get final comments from our panelists, let's hear some voices from the audience. There is a question about why we focus on the lunatic fringe as such and that most of them do not, in fact, and I agree, most of them do not turn to terrorism for anything to do with religion. But sadly, the ones who are turning to terrorism are using religion as their cloak. Your religion is being used falsely. Somewhere can we say that you have a duty to defend it? Definitely the moderate voice or so-called moderate mm. voice should speak up. Now the problem is that the moderates are so frittered away and they're so sort of blase about things. They don't have a platform. And frankly, we don't get that much space on the media as the lunatics get. And those who you are extremists, they are standing and fighting. Yes, right? How much access do Muslims have in a routine corporate world and all that? Like, when a CV comes in front of you, does a corporate take a pause, like the person sitting in that hot seat to give a job and all that? So, Charuk, quick comments from you, hmm. because we've had some people from the film industry who have spoken about it is difficult to get a house for a Muslim in Mumbai. You said you've never really experienced any real prejudice. But do you no, know I, people who have? I, I, I wouldn't know and I'll, I can just, uh, you know, because I think I should just joke about this. I went, uh, that's why I didn't go looking for a flat. I thought I'll just buy a whole building. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'd, I'd be very honest about this whole thing. I think, kahin pe, kabhi kabar, aisa issue, har cheez mein, chai Hindu hai, chai Musliman hai, vegetarian hai, non-veg hai, <laughs> yeah. problems hoti hai. I think we should just try to contain it a little and not make it an issue. Har, har religion ke andar, uh, fundamentalists can mislead youth by giving this garb of, this opium, they say religion yeah. is the opiate of the masses. You can convince anyone that it will happen, you Good orators, uh, young people who don't have a job, easily misled by Islamic mm. uh, fundamentalist or Hindu fundamentalist or if there is something as a Christian fundamentalist. All right. I'm a big fan of yours, but Kurban, I think uh, it used sensationalism and sort of uh, making the terrorist a hero. It made me feel like I was supposed to like Saif Ali Khan at the end of it. I mean, that's not right. We never wanted you to like or dislike. We were going to the beats of a character. And actually, there was a lot of negativity that we got. And we were saying that we were succumbing to stereotyping as well, which was never the case, never the intention. I completely disagree with the film Kurban. And I've told him so. No, but what the, disturbed you about Kurban? I just felt there was a group of people in hijab, with a dadi, with a skull cap. Everybody was bad. I did not see one good person. This is the image sometimes we have of the fringe Muslim groups and I don't think we should uh, in any which way. I mean, it's a picture. Possibly, I also don't take possibly. Yeah. It the was not our intention this, and it yeah. went. Maybe, I mean, I'm all for making whatever kind of film you want to and putting it out there. Absolutely. I'm against censorship. But maybe as a society, we're not ready for it and we require some kind of sensitive um, uh, film Filters. making. Or really has to be the last question. Why are people just looking at the people who are killing other people for jihad. I'm going through jihad. There are 50 people asking me that uh, you're a Muslim, you pray. I said, yes, I pray. So they're like, what are you, your views about the Taliban? I'm striving, I'm struggling myself explaining to them. And why don't the people portray the good side of jihad? What I'm doing, what he's doing, what everyone is doing. I have to take last comments and uh, let me start with you, Dr. Nayak. The Muslim should know how to reply to the misconception about Islam. Today, if you analyze the media, for example, just about more than a week back, yeah. you found in the headlines that there was a bomb in Pune, about 19 people were killed, yeah. suspects Muslim. Same time, there were about 16 policemen killed, <laughs> that was killed also by the mosque. It came that as was also brief. a headline. Why are you saying Muslims killing? So the others are Maoists, the others are, you know, some other organization, but the Muslims are a religious uh, grouping. It's, it's weird. Why don't we say, you know, whatever those people are, I mean, why do we always have to divide it in? Yet, Madhani Saab, you felt the need to use the, the Avant to do that fatwa against terrorism. Where did that fatwa come from? Did you not stand up? No, I didn't ask you. Did you not stand up? People were not standing up. Today, this position is that in the name of Islam, the people who are trying to run out of the jihad, they are trying to run out of the jihad. हमने कहा ये जिहादी नहीं है फसादी है। Reason to ask why that fatwa was was launched was exactly that, and the idea was remove the word Islamic from terrorism. There are terrorisms by people who are practicing a non-Islamic uh, uh, action. That was the thing, and I just like to say one thing since it's the last chance. <clears throat> when Indira Gandhi was assassinated. I was so upset, I wrote just a few lines, which I'd mm. like you to 
am. It said, I am an Indian, not because I am a Hindu or a Muslim or a Christian or a Sikh. I am an Indian because if I am not, who am I? Najib, last thoughts? Ghalib has said, Hum kaha ke dana the, dana comes from Dadish Mand, intellectual. Hum kaha ke dana the, kis hunar mein yakta the, be sabab hua za Ghalib, dushman asma apna. So, I think I have a number of identities as someone who lives in Bombay. Um, I happen to be Muslim, I am an Indian. Um, and uh, I think that my aspirations have nothing to do with my religion or my faith. I mean, I, I want a big house, I want to get married, I want a family, I want to be successful. Um, and that's who I am. Karen? I've always felt very strongly. And I feel strongly because it comes from a space of understanding around me. I'm not saying a film can change a mind space. It can't change the mental makeup of this country. But if you can go back home and question your beliefs about a community, then I think maybe I'd service cinema in some way. Uh, I personally feel as a Muslim, I'd like to tell every Muslim, <clears throat> that uh, uh, if you don't know your religion well enough, if you're not able to practice it well enough, if your knowledge is less, Allah Ta'ala aapko maaf kar denge. Lekin being a Muslim, if you're not able to explain your religion to the other people who are not understanding it, ki dunya aapko maaf nahi karegi. You need to be very, very clear <laughs> that uh, we cannot take this stand ki agar aap samajhte nahi, mat samjho, main to ladunga nahi. Acceptance of this and explaining is what I think in the long run will sort out the problem. Well, I think it's fair to say uh, uh, where we started, that there is a crisis, but I think to hear all of you today, you may not agree on everything, but you agree on a lot of basic core things at the heart of it. And one is, I think as Kabir said, that terrorism doesn't have a religion.